Welcome to another tutorial video from Tolomats. Make sure and subscribe for more. In this video, we are going to be looking at our quadratic equation formula from our log tables on page 26, which is stated as x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. We just need to be aware of what the letters are standing for here. Our quadratic equation, first of all, is something that has an x squared. It has the highest power of 2. It will then have an x, or to the x to the power of 1, and then it will have a number on its own known as the constant. So it has to have an x squared, an x, and a constant, a number on its own. The a, when I'm subbing into my formula, is the number that is in front of the x squared. The b is the number in front of the x, and the c is the number on its own, the constant. Just make sure that uh, you have to also take the sign that's in front of the number. So we have to be careful whether it's plus or minus. So we come down to this uh, example here where I've written it as x squared plus 3x, take two is equal to zero. They're asking us to solve that quadratic equation for x. Uh, we've looked at other videos perhaps where it has asked us to solve the quadratic equation using the guide number or the uh, trial and error method. Here we are going to solve it through our minus b um, formula. What we're basically trying to achieve, just a background information here, a quadratic equation is something on a graph that takes a curve effect. So it possibly looks something like uh, this. And our quadratic equation or our parabola, our curve, will cross the x-axis at two locations. And those two locations are basically what you're trying to solve, where x is equal to on both of these. So there are solutions um, to the quadratic equation. So that's what we're trying to solve. A little bit of background information, first of all. So let's get to our formula. First of all, in any exam situation, you should always write down your formula, what you're going to use. So I'm going to use my formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That's the formula from our log tables. Next thing I would do is write down, before subbing them into my formula, I'm going to write down the values for a, b and c. So my a is the number in front of the x squared which is not shown on my particular quadratic, but you know that it stands for one. You don't need to show the one. Think of like saying I have one calculator. I have a calculator. You don't need to say the one. My B is the number in front of the X, which is three. And my C is the constant or the number on its own, which is negative two. So I'm going to need those three values. I'm then going to sub them into my formula. So I'm subbing into my formula. So X is equal to minus B. I'm going to draw a bracket here and sub in my B. I'm just using substitution. So my B is three plus or minus the square root of B squared. Again, I'm using brackets. Just make sure you put in your square. And I'm subbing in my B, which is three. And the formula then tells me to do minus four times A times C. And I'm subbing in my a, which is 1, and my c, which is negative 2. The formula then tells us that that is all being divided by 2 times a. Just make sure you close your square root. And a is going to be my 1. Can I also just get you to focus in on our fraction line here must go the whole way across. It must include the negative 3. And it's outside of the square root. So just be careful if you're typing that on your calculator uh, with your square roots and your fractions. So let's tidy that up a wee bit. So I'm just going to make a bit of room here. And I'm going to bring it up here. So what's that giving me? X is equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, which is 9. I'm now going to multiply the minus 4 by the 1, which is giving me negative 4, and negative 4 by negative 2, minus by minus, is giving me a plus 8. So it's 9 plus 8, because minus by minus gives me a plus. And that's all being divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, the formula, as you see here, has a plus and a minus, and that is there in order to 
help us solve for the two values for x. Remember our graph at the very start where we said there are two values for x where it crosses the, uh, the x axis. So what I do is I basically write it out twice. So I'm going to go x is equal to minus 3 plus the square root of 9 plus 8. So I'm going to add them together and I get 17 all over 2. I'm just going to put that plus in a different color so we can focus on it. So that's the plus part of my formula. I'm then going to do it out for the minus part of my formula. So simultaneously down alongside it, I'm going to do x is equal to minus 3 minus the square root of 17 all over 2. And this is the minus part. So I'm doing them out separately. I now solve the top line of my fraction. Minus 3 plus the square root of 17 on my calculator and I hit my SD button if you're using a Casio calculator. That will turn it into a decimal. So that's giving me x is equal to 1.123 all over 2. And on the right hand side with the negative, it's x is equal to minus 3 minus the square root of 17. So just make a little alteration there on your calculator. And that is giving me uh, minus 7.123 all divided by 2. Next thing I do, I solve those fractions. So I type them in my calculator and I'm going to turn them into decimals. So I'm not going to write them as fractions. So it's 1.123 divided by 2 is giving me uh, to two decimal places 0 0.56. And on the right hand side, it's minus 7. Make sure we take our minus. Minus 7.123 divided by 2 is giving me a negative 3.56. Five, six. So there are my two values for x, or my solutions, basically. And I'm just going to show you what they look like on a graph now. So I'm just using uh, GeoGebra here, a graphing tool for mathematics. So you can see it here. And on my graph, where it crosses the x-axis, you can see that it's crossing the x-axis here slightly below 1 and between 0. So that's the value of 0 0.56. So x is equal to 0 0.56. And over to the, the, the negative side of my number line is between 3, minus 3 and minus 4. And that's the value that I've achieved through my minus b formula, which is x is equal to minus 3.56. So you're using your minus b formula to find two values for x, and those values are where your quadratic equation cuts the x-axis. They are also known as the solutions. So my solutions are x is equal to. Hope it helps. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.